Hi, it's Doodle here, and welcome to another video. It's Halloween. <laughs> Welcome to another video. Uh, today I'm going to have another ghost story and I've also got, I'm going to do some pumpkin carving, so I'm going to make a jack-o'-lantern. I'm not very good at artwork, I'm not very good at drawing, not very good at cutting out, and not very good at keeping patience with sharp objects. No, that sounds wrong. No, no, that sounds really wrong. What I mean is, <laughs> that is start again what I mean is when I'm cutting things out I get frustrated that's all I mean so I'm gonna attempt a jack-o'-lantern usually it turns out the same every year two eyes a, a triangle nose which is badly cut out and sort of square teeth that's it. That's as far as I can go with the jack-o'-lantern. That's as far as my creative side goes. So don't expect too much on that account. Um, I have another ghost story. Also, in some of the footage, you'll see a church with a graveyard. I thought I'd add that in as it's a spooky season. And um, this is from one of the most haunted places in England. So I didn't see anything. Uh, it's a, so I just thought I'd add it in as it's nearly Halloween, it's Halloween tomorrow so I thought I'd add that in uh, just to make it just a little bit of a creepy video I'm going to have some cleaning in as usual and I hope you enjoy I've been trying my best for a while Trying to please everyone who's around me I've been putting on my fake smile Even though I'm wasting time I don't want to be trapped in a box Trying to be like the rest when I'm not I just want to go my own way Gonna let the past burn down Cause honestly don't wanna be Stuck in boring conversations with you With you I'm gonna leave it all behind Myself, I'm gonna start with a new Yeah I'm on my way now
start on the um, ghost story just the last one uh, that I have heard from family members this one is a more recent one I'd say um, a couple of my family members have experienced these things happening uh, just accounts from them really of what has happened so the first one is in a particular house that they live and they noticed that the coasters or this coaster had fall, or come flying across the room. Um, I think it was either in the hallway or in the lounge, and one of the coasters had gone across the room somehow and landed on the floor. That was the first um, incident I heard of. Um, and then there was another incident where a glass had been placed on top of um, the banister at the top of the stairs. It was quite a wide banister, and it was a heavy glass, and it was pretty secure... I'd say it was quite secure on the side. It had it wouldn't move. It, you know, wind couldn't move it. It's heavy glass. It's glass of that was on the side, and it, nothing could have really moved it off the side. No one had brushed past it or knocked it off. But I'd noticed that when they were either in the bedroom, I think it was, or the bathroom, they come out the bathroom, and it was and it had come off the side and and flew off onto the floor. Um, how it got there it's just a mystery it's not a house that's ever had any paranormal activity before so it's it's quite unusual for that to happen so I don't know whether it's an isolated incident or whether it did get knocked somehow without knowing we'll never know but there was another incident in the other house uh, of this certain person that they noticed that the plates on the side, they had this this noise and the plates on the side were, were moving around. I mean, the washing machine wasn't on. It's clear, because it, they actually videoed it, it's clear that the washing machine looked like the door was open on the washing machine. So it wasn't the vibration from the washing machine making these plates clatter and move on their own. It's just, it's just so many things that happen and you just can't explain it and that is what the paranormal is something that can't be explained um going on to unidentified flying objects ufos my mum and dad in the 1970s i think it might have been possibly 74 my mum and dad were walking back from somewhere or they were having a walk and they know they looked up in the sky and there was this massive and this is what they told me, this is their account, there was this massive great triangle in the sky above um, a building, and it was much bigger than this particular building, and it was hovering. They said it was massive, and it triangular in shape, and it had red lights going round the triangle shape. I mean, what it was, they said they just didn't know because it was so big, and this was at night, well, getting dark or at night, I think mum and dad said, and they said it disappeared as quick as it came, um, and they cannot to this day understand or explain what it was in the sky. I mean, it wasn't a plane. It was too low. It was far too low to be anything. Yeah, it was just unusual. Um, this, but this, this... This is what they said, and they, they're not drink, they don't drink or anything like that, so they wasn't coming back from the pub and like imagining things or, you know, seeing things or... 
they were just having a walk and they said there's there just suddenly they both saw it this big massive triangle ufo in the sky i haven't seen anything since but it's just to me that's unusual it's kind of paranormal because it's just unexplained isn't it so you know i just thought i'd tell a few more stories As you can see here, I have no idea how I'm going to start carving this pumpkin or what I'm going to draw on the front of it. Um, probably going to be a complete disaster, if I'm honest. Um, before I start, it was probably going to look like something a preschooler would have done with obviously help, but uh, from an adult, but it's really um, difficult for me to draw, draw faces. Um, especially on pumpkins or anything really on paper i'm just not got the vision um at all to and i'm just trying to think what i can draw on it and it's going to be the usual rubbish usual triangle eyes and the triangle nose and the teeth which thinking about it now when i look about seeing other people's carvings and they've got bats and all sorts of elaborate designs and pumpkins with smaller pumpkins in their mouths and things like that and I'm just drawing basically two triangles or three triangles two for the eyes one for the nose and then weird teeth it really beggars belief doesn't it <laughs> so um yeah so this is really as as far as I go with drawings but I didn't realize I've got a pumpkin carving kit and in a minute you'll see that I don't realize that there's two stencils in there that I could have used so what I do is proceed to use the stencils on it over my previous drawings and it just turns out to be a disaster area and then you'll see I'll probably <laughs> then I cut my finger and then it just goes from disaster to disaster as you will see
There literally is no words for this pumpkin. I don't know what's happened to its mouth. Um, I, I, I started to cut it. The stencil was quite small, the mouth, so I thought, right, right, I'll make it bigger because it's a bigger pumpkin. And then the teeth went wrong. Um, and then the rest of it went wrong. So, I mean, it looks all right lit up. I don't think if I put it outside, no one would be able to tell. They'll still think that I have young children that have sort of helped me put this together. I mean, young children can make a better job, obviously. You know, I mean, when you're dealing with sharp objects like um, in the carving kit, there's razor sharp. Well, not razor sharp, but it it's quite sharp objects. You have to be, they have to be supervised by an adult. I mean, I'm an adult and I think I need to be supervised because this isn't my best work <laughs> and I'm definitely not going to be in the artist category but it's passable for a jack-o'-lantern I think so I think it's passable it's it, it's scary because it's scarily bad um so I'm going to put it out anyway we'll probably get the trick-or-treaters come round and you know they enjoy it and they enjoy the, the evening so yeah This village is meant to be one of the most haunted places in Britain, um, well, in England, actually. One of the most haunted villages in England. I had to come up a bit of a way today to come and see this, but it's meant to be. Um, this place is so beautiful. All the little houses have got arches and they all look the same. It's just so quaint and pretty. And it's just renowned for having lots of ghosts and lots of paranormal activity um, and it's just so pretty so I thought as it was the day before Halloween 30th of October I thought I'd visit here and have a look round. Just something about graveyards and everything I just like it's just peaceful and this is just such a spooky place and I can imagine at night it's even more spookier as you walk round I mean the leaves are all on the floor it's very autumnal the um, colours, the rich oranges and browns and all the changing of the leaves as, you know, autumn is well underway at the moment and soon we'll be going into winter but this place is just so quaint and peaceful really. There wasn't a lot of people here, it's not a big tourist trap or anything but it was just really worth visiting 
as it's you know it's got its reputation as the video goes along if you spot anything paranormal or ghostly or anything that i haven't spotted then please let me know in the comments